Welcome my friends to this new course where I'm going to teach you how to test SMD component on the board without removing it. So I'm going to teach you how to test ICs, capacitors, resistors, diodes, transistors, MOSFETs, all type of diodes and much more. So let's get started. Please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one. And to be part of our family where I have over 1000 friends, you are very welcome. All links in the description. Also, you're gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video so please make sure you stay tuned and do not miss any moment if you want to maximize your chance of understanding this course so guys let's select first the diode option i'm going to teach you how to test this component without removing it from the board this is a fast testing so here we have diodes so guys for diodes as you know has a negative terminal and a positive terminal or we called it cathode and anode so to test the diode without removing it you can just put the red probe on the anode like this and the black probe on the cathode we get a reading 500 this is 580 drop voltage this is a good diode okay but if you swap the probes normally we should not get anything but if you get something here about 1000 drop voltage this is normal because the diode is connected to the board let's check those also so we have here cathode cathode means the red probe here the black probe here 470 drop voltage this one 478 drop voltage this is good so those diodes are good here guys we have another diode this is not a zener diode this one is a normal diode but a crystal diode the zener diode has basically a blue line over here so this is the cathode here the anode the same working principle let's check guys we have 600 drop voltage if we swap the probes do you see we have 600 normal it's there is no problem because the diode is connected to the board this diode is good when you get a shorted a short like this means the diode is shorted so this is good for those diodes now let's check guys ceramic capacitors this kind of ceramic capacitors basically are not polarized okay if we check this one for example we have a reading as you can see means this is good capacitors for capacitors if you get a reading means good but if you get a low resistance or a short like this means the capacitor is bad is damaged also when you find the capacitors around the ic are good like this means there is no short on the ic because if the ic is shorted you're gonna find shorted capacitors around it why because usually the capacitors especially serum capacitors are connected with the ic in one side and to the ground in the other side so here also guys we have serum capacitors let's check it good we have a reading this one also good we have a reading okay guys good let's move on to this uh, compound basically this is a transistor for those compound always here we have the base collector emitter so between collector and emitter you have to get basically the same reading as the diode we have about 800 drop voltage okay 800 drop voltage if we swap the probes normally we should not get anything but if we get about 1000 means good why because the transistor is connected to the board you see we have 1100 okay but in this side we have 
800 drop voltage this check please before diving into the course we'd like to give a huge thank you to the sponsor for this video pcb way pcb way offers many services ranging from pcb production and assembly to 3d printing and a variety of materials cnc machining sheet metals fabrication injection molding and more pcb way makes it easy to get custom parts for your project and if you don't like to work a lot with the soldering iron they can even assemble your pcbs for you that's the pcb way now back to the video 800 voltage when we swap the probes 1000 this is normal guys why normally we should not get here anything but because the transistor is connected to the board and in parallel with other components that's why we get 1000 ready so let's check another transistor on another circuit for example let's check this one here this one the same we have here base collector emitter okay so between the collector and emit emitter we have 600 drop voltage exactly as the diode 600 drop voltage okay but if i swap to props i will get nothing or 1000 we have 1000 this is normal because it's connected but if we remove this tr transistor outside the board we we will not get anything here here also do you see guys the same reading let's see we have 600 about 600 here also about 600 okay for transistor for beginner the same reading as the diode between the emitter and collector so guys let's move on to the switches i remember i, I get two comments about how to test switches let's test switches first and then continue with other component so basically guys for switches we have ground and high terminal so do you see this path here is connected to, the, to this wide area means this connected to the ground okay and this one basically we have here 3.3 volt do you see connected to this resistor so if i put one probe here in the ground and the second probe here as you can see if i press the switch do you see when i press the switch i shunt these two terminals means the switch is good one okay let's check this one also do you see guys always we locate the ground by just tracing the path we have this as you can see path is connected do you see to this wide area over here guys this one connected here we have a t line connected to this resistor means here we have the 3.3 volt and this is the ground we can even check between this one ground and this one do you see between this one and this one we have ground why because this one connected to this wide area this one also connected to this wide area as you can see, as you can see guys and this one also here as you can see connected to this wide area that's why we have as you can see continue it so let's check this one also so the black probe in the ground the red probe here in the high terminal and let's press the switch you see means the switch is good let's check this one very quickly this one also this one connected to the ground means i will put the black probe here and the red probe here and press the button good so the three switches are good i hope that the guys that ask me about how to test switches understand it's very easy about the switches very easy guys so it's no pass to the ICs. how we can check whether the ICs are good or not so we check the ICs whether are good or not of course by using basically three methods the very standard sample method is by using the data sheet and check the inputs okay 
and the outputs and of course check the v in if the v in it is using the data sheet you can check the v in the presence of v in the vcc enable signal the clock signal etc and check the outputs if you have the outputs means good if not you have to check the inputs and enable signals and the second method is by checking the ceramic capacitors around the IC. If you find that the ceramic capacitors around the IC are good, not shorted, means the IC is serviceable, is not shorted, is good. Okay, and of course, you can just touch the IC using your finger. If you feel that the heat of the IC is good, it's normal, means good, but if you feel that it's very hot above normal, means the IC is shorted. So, what about the resistors? The resistors, guys, are very, very easy. So, for the resistor, we have here a code. You have to just understand what about the resistor. For this one, for example, we have 103 okay so always the third number is number of zeros so one zero three zeros means 10 kilo ohm okay 10 kilo ohm if we check this resistor here so one zero three means 10 kilo ohm let's check we have 9.8 means 10 kilo ohm okay so the same for all resistance that we have here for example let's pick another one this one for example guys we have four seven three it means four seven three zeros mean 47 k okay this one for example we have two 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 zeros means 22 k kilo ohm okay very simple so guys i hope that you understand a little bit about how to test the component in the board without removing it so for diodes please pay attention for diodes when you swap the probes means when you put the red probe in the cathode and the black probe in the anode you will get to 1000 it's normal because the diode is connected to the board i hope that you understand please don't forget to like share and subscribe and in the comment below if you have any question you are very welcome yeah. and of course you will find the link for my website for my patreon for my facebook group all links in the description see you in the next video